We're trying to catch some catfish on a rod and reel. I got this instead. It was a battle to get it in. Twice it buried itself on the bottom. The top shell has spiny projections or tubercles up near the head. Overall, the carapace is a pancake shape, with not much of a ridge and its leathery in appearance. With males, it's sometimes covered with bumps, making it have a rough feel to the touch. With females, it's typically smooth. Females get to be larger than males, with the maximums being about 12 inches for males and 20 inches for females. I put a tape on this one, and the length was about 14 and a half inches. Being strong swimmers, they can hunt on the move or lie stationary on the bottom to ambush prey. I noticed something in the mouth of this one, so I zoomed in on it a bit and I found an old fish hook. With quite a bit of effort, I was able to get it out before releasing it. Moving on land's not a problem for these turtles. They can cover some ground if needed, like this one, trying to get back to the pond. They eat a wide variety of things, including fish, crayfish, vegetation, and aquatic insects. It looks like fishing bait is also on the menu. The web feet have claws, and they can do some damage if you're not careful. Females have shorter tails than the males. Based on the size, markings, smooth shell, and short tail, this is a large adult female. They typically come out on land and nest around June, and females laying 30 eggs at a time is not unusual.